Oh my- Whoa. Something's active, like an animatronic itself? I don't know what's going on particularly. So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome back to A Shadow Over Freddy's, the most cryptic Five Nights at Freddy's fan game I've played to date. I was loading up this game and I was thinking truly, who even are we in this game? We're literally roaming around a darkened pizzeria, going to a puppet and like hearing these stories he's telling us? A very interesting scenario to be placed in, and I kind of think that the stories the puppet's telling us are, yeah, that's probably ourselves. But then that got me thinking, why are we reliving these kind of horrific memories? Did something change us during that time that we wasn't even aware of? So many questions emerging, like, honestly, guys, the answers? I don't know, okay? I, I just don't know. And because of that, I probably think we should continue, so let's go ahead and do this. So in the last episode, we found ourselves at night three. We gotta enter the kitchen for this episode. Now, I don't even understand what the freak was going on, man. We got attacked by Bonnie. I had no idea how to know he was even there. So we got some things we gotta establish and hopefully not get jump scared again. Though it's clearly gonna happen. Don't stand still. Enemies will move into your room if you take too long hiding next to you. Oh boy, I just clicked skip. So despite skipping the tutorial, here's something else interesting. If we look on the back right there, all these pictures, it is so clearly our character, right? Like, there's all the different story elements here. We know about the dog incident and the robot. Uh, in terms of who this kid is right here, I don't know, because like, the scratched out face is probably us again. Like, did we jack a car or something? But guys, all I know is we messed up, so night three, enter the kitchen. Why we're doing this, I don't know, but I guess we're gonna do it anyway. So it says, don't stand still for too long. Do we... Hold up. Okay, it sounds quiet, I guess. I don't know, are we good? <laughs> I have no idea. There's a little key icon right here. So I presume maybe we're searching around this place for a key of some kind. So let's get to- Wait, what the frick was that? So I think we're in like the breaker room at the moment. We've got all these kind of, uh, I guess chemicals of some kind, cleaning agents. Maybe there's nothing in here. I don't think so. It's now side. Okay. That sounds real silent. We must be good. The atmosphere to this game though is like, it hurts wow. so much. <laughs> like, can I say that? It's pretty painful to say the least. Okay, lights flickering. I don't know if that means something's nearby or if something's already here. I'm gonna look around this place and check to see if there's anything here. I don't think so, so let's move down the hallway. We need to find a key though, quite clearly. <laughs> Bonnie and Chica can only be heard if you hold right click on a path to a room they are in or if they've come in your room. What the freak is Bonnie doing in my room? Look guys, it's just a dodo, right? Maybe we need to do this tutorial. If a shadow is in the same room as you, it'll wait for you to move before attacking. Find it and scare it away before you proceed. Okay, so we had that like static stuff going on. Something was with us, but we didn't scare it away in time. All right, let's try the reverse way this time. Not sure how this is gonna work, but I mean, we may as well. Okay, there's like a Chica, wait, we had to, what? So there was a Chica doll. I don't think that was an item we had to get, but I mean, we got it, so like, why not? Listening in, okay. I think that's just the ambience of the restaurant, so we're gonna proceed ahead. Please don't be there. All right, woo, here we go. Okay, we're good so far. So let me listen. Don't think there's anything that side. And then we're gonna check also to our left. We gotta be quicker. Okay, it's kind of dead. Listening ahead. Don't hear nothing, so I'm gonna go this way here. So we're looking for a key. It's gotta be like strong on a wall or something. Like, I'm, I don't know. Where would a key be placed? Let's think from like a logical standpoint. Hold up, listen again. Nothing ahead, I'm gonna check around. I guess we're good, let's keep going on forward. We're looking for like a maintenance room. That's my guess anyway. Don't be there. Ooh. Oh, this is painful. I don't hear nothing. And I don't think there's any presence that's came near me just yet. So I think we're okay. Let's go ahead, one more here. We're going towards like the back storage room. Ah, okay. We're still not quite there. Man, this is so tense. It's 1 a.m. as well, guys, so we've already spent an hour searching around this place for what we need to find. Okay, wow. So the middle column here is huge. Nope. Yeah, we ain't going that way. We're gonna make a freaking sharp left here. What the freak is that? There's like another thing. Oh God, there's something here. Okay, find it, find it, find it. I ain't moving until I know I've got rid of it. I know it's here. I literally know it's right on top of me by this point. I'm scanning everywhere. I don't. See it though. Does that mean it's gone? Or does that mean it's like too late? Hey, something definitely moved closer there. So now I gotta try and find it. This ain't good. This really ain't good. I think all three of them are literally piling on top of me by this point. Okay, there you go. Do I hold on it? Oh my god. Is that good? I'm sure. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about anything. We held it on its face, it went away. So during those sequences, patience is the way to go, okay? So now do we move? Like if I get jump scared right now, there's something I clearly didn't learn. I think we're good, so let's proceed. <gasps> okay, there's another one here again. I don't know where this one is, guys. I've been spinning around so much. It's not revealing itself, it seems. Let me try and... Now something moved right on top of me. We gotta see it now, right? Is that how this works? I'm not sure. There it is, okay, scare it away. I guess that counts, I guess. <laughs> I don't have any faith in any of these movements I'm doing. I think I got it, I think. I'm not sure, go. <sighs> okay, we're still good, we are still good. How are we by this? 
That's the thing about this. You get so disoriented, okay? So listen. All right, I'm moving straight ahead. I gotta try and find the back storage room. I can't remember our location, right? No, don't do this. No, back storage, man. Every movement. Okay, there's something here again. This slows you down so much, and you gotta wait for it to show itself. It's here again. I've been doing so many spinnies, guys. I'm lost. I don't know my direction. This thing is creeping me out. It's 4 a.m. We're no, about to die. God. Look, next night, okay, find the breaker switch before we do anything. Turn it on, then proceed as normal. This would be so much easier. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I don't know what I'm doing at all. I gotta listen. Hey, seems good over there. We're gonna go over there again, I guess. Oh, gosh, this just feels so bad. Okay, we've got show stage or Pirate's Cove. Like, I don't want to be at neither or. Something's here again to slow us down. It can't be Foxy, right? <laughs> I freaking hope not. Okay, where are you? There you are. Okay, get the heck out of here one last time. It's 5 a.m., guys. This isn't looking good at all. Um, I need to try and establish what... Okay, I ain't going... Another one. There was two watching me right there. This is this is so bad. I'm, like, strained here again. There's another animatronic holding me pinned down, and it's about to hit 6 a.m. The heck is that? What the freak was that? That was... It was, like, creaking or something? Like, something was getting closer? Maybe? I, oh, my... Whoa. Something's active, like an animatronic itself. Like a physical animatronic. No, like, spirit. The light is still flicking. I don't know what's going on. Uh, do I have to do anything in particular to try and stop this? Like, I don't know what's going on particularly. Come on. Come on. <laughs> when you try your best, but you don't succeed. What is that? There's something there. Okay. Here's the thing, guys. I think I know where the employee's room- <gasps> Oh! Oh my god. So it's gone. That was much quicker. I, I I hope we did good. Like, it's not a multiple face thing. Don't get me. Oh god. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. The bathroom and also the exit is this side here. I can't remember where the employees... Okay, there's another thing here. I can't remember where the employees office is. That is so crucial right now for me trying to, I guess, find the keys. Got to think like actual building layout, you know. They want to keep things secure. Like, no one should be able to access the back room or the kitchen if they don't need to. So I think that's definitely where they'd have been stored at the end of the day or something. The lights keep flickering, man. I don't know what this means. Like, it's not showing itself. Let me check this way. Uh... Nothing that way. So, do the lights flickering simply mean maybe the animatronics are moving? But maybe still we can move, you know. That's what we need to listen out for, I think. Yeah, then we get rid of it. Okay, so that one's gone. Let me just take a uh, listen this way here a second. That way's quiet. I think now I understand the moving side. Okay, let me try and move. I think because the lights are flickering. Oh my god, I'm gonna back up from the screen. Okay, we're good, man. <laughs> this freaking hurts. God, something moved right next to me. I think something's in the room. So let's test this theory out, okay? I'm gonna look for it. Um... Nope. Uh, okay, like, what was that sound? What the f- what the f- I don't get this game, bro. I don't- <laughs> I don't understand this game. Well, there's something right in front of me. It needs to make its way to me, then. I don't think during those scenarios I can go to it. Else, like, I'm pretty much dead. I'm gonna wait. And maybe there's like a linkage to the breathing with the character who may be in front of you and then you can establish like a rhythm with them, I guess, to get rid of them quicker. Hey, wait. Ooh, that looks like Chica. Oh, sounds like it. Hey, you can go. I think I know exactly where I gotta be and I think I'm gonna move. It feels like maybe I'm safe. I think I got rid of them. If I get killed right now, okay, I'm gonna be having many talks with many people. Aye. And I'm good. So I need to go into the breaker room, guys. I think this is what I need to- Don't be in here! Please, I didn't listen. I should've listened. I don't know how I'm good. I played that way too ri- Okay, something knows that I played it- The keys, they're right there. I played that way too risky, man. Listen in front. There's nothing. But the lights flickered, so I don't trust it. I am completely trapped in this corner, guys. The lights keep flickering. I don't know what that cue means still. I'm trying to learn. Like, if you guys know, definitely leave comments. There is no sound in front, but I don't feel like I'm the only one in this room right now. I feel like some presence is with me. The longer I wait as well, the worse it becomes, you know? It's a trap. How can you get around this? I'm just gonna move, man. I've been waiting for so long. I don't know. Like, if I die right now, there's still something I clearly gotta learn. And I'm good. Lights flickered again. Twice. No laughing. Let me listen this way. It seems quiet. Okay, look at the lights going crazy. There's something right in front of me here. Gotta wait for it to come to me. Because I know where I am. Hold up. Okay. Is that it moving towards me? Now it's on top of me. Okay, let's try and find this quickly. Here we go. Nice quick spin. There it is. Get your chomping straight out of my face, Chica. I knew it was her. Okay, I'm gonna move straight back to the stage, guys. I'm gonna have to go in like a straight path, pretty much. Uh, let me listen. On the stage, we gotta hear. Okay. Stage is quiet. We're just gonna have to keep going for this. We gotta be determined. We gotta be very keen with our decisions, right? We're gonna take a shortcut through the tables right now, okay? Align ourselves with another wall. Don't be there. Okay. I'm listening so much. No laughing on top. 
It's in front. We're good to move forward. Then we're going left, and I think we're there. I think. I don't know. There's nothing there. Okay, we're going. We're going, man. We're going all the way. Please don't get me right now. I've played this as best I can, okay? Wait, the arcades, employees only. Here we go, kitchen. Yes! Oh my goodness me. I thought we was done for this night, man. I didn't think I was going to beat this. It's been like 50... My heart just like skipped a beat. I thought we wasn't done. Like I was about to scream at the top of my lungs. Play your tune. Show me your face. For a change, I'm looking forward to seeing it because I know this is actually our safe haven. Look, there it is. Like, I feel so good right now. Ah, oh, sweet victory, man. Nothing feels better than that, especially when we're in this place. You are pulled back to safety as the room fades away around you. The shadow offers yet another story from your past. Will you accept? Of course, we're going to keep this chain going. By the way, the puppet looks like a fried egg that's gone wrong. This is a true story that I will tell to you. I hope you're taking notes for the quiz at... Quiz at the end? There once was a young man who had grown hungry for knowledge. Growing into adolescence, he had isolated himself from his family, focusing instead on his passion for the unknown. The spiritual, the place of mystery he had come to know years ago. In a box under his bed, he hid his secrets away from all others. His living plastic friend, still thrashing and writhing inside. Every night he observed his movements intently. The young man spent entire days away from home, reading and studying about spirits and vessels. His interest turned into obsession and his need to understand it grew. Alas, it was all for naught, as no book had the key to the answers he'd been seeking. All he found were vague rumors and legends with no instructions or explanations. Ooh, this is kind of weird, right? To continue down the rabbit hole, he knew what had to be done. Okay, what did he do then? What? Is that like his father or something? That's clearly us. Since he was a kid, the young man never saw his dad as anything more than an obstacle. He was a moody, aggressive, old alcoholic who only talked to his son when he needed something to shout at. Wow, dang. Having driven everyone that loved him away, the drunkard was worth less than nothing in the eyes of the boy. Thus, he was the perfect candidate. One day when coming home, seeing the old man sprawled out onto the kitchen table with a bottle in hand, he decided to show dear old daddy a new way of- Disgusting! Don't tell me he did what I think he's a about to say. Holding a small felt doll in his right hand, the teen made his way to the house's garage. After a few hours, the deed was done and the plan in action. The boy watched his oblivious father drive away in his car, unaware of the tampering that had been done to the vehicle. That's basically murder. Sitting on his bed, the young man took his dear pet out of the box and began to press harshly on its square plastic head. As it trembled in pain, he waited on the outcome of his small experiment. What? Okay, if that's an experiment working, then okay, it worked. Congratulations, kid. You're now a murderer, okay? And the puppet's back again, fading back in. Our character, I literally hate our character. Oh, the humanity. Wow, that's all you say? Jeez, dude, this kid is like the worst person to ever exist. After the car accident, he recovered the doll that had been planted below the seat and returned to his home. Placing it on his desk, he watched it closely for the same spark that remained inside his robotic... So he tried to make, like, another thing? Much to his frustration, no movement came of the doll. Nothing. The vessel he had prepared for his father was empty, devoid of even a single remnant of life. Furious by his failure, he ripped the foul doll apart and threw it aside. What a waste. From then on, he was free of the shackles of his drunken caretaker, but without the trophy he had planted to take his monstrous act of sabotage. Unflinching in his resolve and with no guilt in his empty heart, he contemplated what he would do next. So maybe the father made the kid this way, but it's like the kid is like torturing other things around him and now he's trying to use this as like a trap. I was kidding when I said there was to be a quiz, by the way. Not that that matters. <laughs> <laughs> or that you deserve it. Yeah, I kind of agree with the puppet right now. Never should you let, like, the negativity of someone else influence you to the point of, like, almost... Well, no, you are literally killing things by this point. Crazy. Okay, two nights remaining. I'm gonna go out on a whim here. There's no probable chance that we're actually gonna beat this night, okay? This game is getting way too difficult. A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It sleeps inside Pirate's Cove on the southwest corner of the building. Oh, for God's sake. Fuck, he's out to get me now, guys. So we gotta check Pirate's Cove? I'll start by going this way here, then. I wonder what the objective could be for this night. Collect the pieces. There you go. We gotta find five pieces, dude. What the okay, nothing ahead. What about this room here? So much listening, man. I'm gonna go straight to my left, then. Hopefully, there's, like, a piece in here or something, because I wanna try and get started ASAP with this. One good thing, though, is that the pieces don't reset their location, so if you find one the first time, it's gonna stay there. Okay, light's flickering, but there's no noise. Let me listen. Okay, there's nothing. Let me test this, okay? The light flickered. There was no noise in our presence, so if I move out, wait for it. Okay, we're still good, so it's only when there's a noise. Something's there. 
So, another test, right? If I walk into this presence, can I get rid of it before it gets me, or is it like a guaranteed death? Let me- I'm gonna start this night then by checking on Pirate's Cove. So, there, that's done out the way. So, let me listen this way here. Hold up. Okay. Don't think there's nothing, so we're good to go. I need to try and find, then, a total of five different pieces for this puzzle-type thing. So, we're gonna backstage here, listen. All right. Don't think there's anything back there. You know what, let's look. We've got nothing to lose, and the more we find this, even if we die in between the nights, we can, I guess, establish something. Yeah, I don't want to be in this room long at all. Is that a piece there? So, what even is that? Like a, a shoulder blade or something? I'm gonna go into the breaker room. I mean, as said before, guys, I don't think we're gonna get this. May as well check around, though. So, there's a fox. What? So, that was like a bonus item, I guess? Okay, something's just moved right into here with me. Let's try and find it, get rid of it, and then proceed on as usual, I hope. Wait, what? But it moved in. Was that the sound of it moving in? Wait. Oh, God. Was that Foxy? Oh boy. I'm literally racing back to Pirate's Cove right now, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. Listen, listen. All right, we're still good. I'm literally running if I could. Like, why doesn't this guy skip phases, you know? Hey, we're checking on it, and it's good. Something's here. Is that Freddy? Yeah, he's doing his like. No, that's Foxy. What am I talking about? But we're here at Pirate's Cove, so I don't think he's emerging. All right, another piece at Pirate's Cove. So that's three out of, I guess, six. So we're getting somewhat progress here. I think I get this. I think I get the game finally. This feels good, man. Finally! <laughs> what? Wait, but I checked on Pirate's Cove, right? I must have not checked on it frequently enough. So I guess the encouragement here then is to almost quickly check for sounds and then like, get your freaking booty moving. Foxy stays in Pirate's Cove as long as you keep checking his curtain. Make sure to visit it regularly before he gets out. Yeah, so that's exactly what's going on there. All right then, guys, that is going to be another episode anyway of A Shadow Over Freddy's. Honestly, the main thing I'm getting from this is that I do understand the mechanics finally. Basically, if the lights flicker, I think that means they move only when you hear like them laughing or doing something. That is when they will get you or they're in the same room as you. It's a fair simplistic concept and like the fact that the objects don't move between nights as well means that we are gonna come get this for the next episode and that's for night five uh, I, I mean, like, uh, but if you did enjoy this video nonetheless why not drop me that like rate and then hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one